lawsuit if they lost it, withhold your money until they've fully satisfied you. If you get the old song and dance about needing money to buy mate, Riles, find out what is needed, and go buy it yourself. Now that you know how critical it is to watch who holds the money, I have to add that applying this simple rule of thumb can be tough sometimes. You may not even realize as you do it that you're letting go of the money and, at the same time, the control of the situation. And nearly every time I expected a call from a woman and an sword the phone, somebody would ask me to quote them a price on some double bile shag rug or some thing. How to plug your money leaks. Probably the most common leaking of your fin. Shall leverage goes on when you let the other person run up a bill that you don't have control over, yet are responsible for. An old Chinese proverb says, with razor sharp AC. Curacy, if you want to make an enemy of a man, lend him some money. Instead confine your loans to people you don't want as friends, because you can bet they won't care. A tinker's dam for you by the time you're repaid. The minute you lend a person a fairly sizable amount of money, he just doesn't know enough ways to thank you. After all, he's getting nothing out of the money now. After you've asked him for the money once. How to avoid being taken. 103. Or twice, you can go ahead and write your friendship off as a relic of the past. As just one example, my office mate at a corpora shun where I worked lent a fellow employee dollar I owe to pay for the trip to his mother's funeral. However, the funeral came and went, and sf. Ear all paydays passed, but the son still didn't offer to. 104. Repay the $100. These episodes serve up a simple message, unless you enjoy getting ugly with people over a few doll lars and still failing to recoup your money a lot of the time, only make loans you can comfortably write off as a gift if your debtor doesn't pay you back volume unterrily. Clearly, if you ever want to see your money again, you have to stay on good terms with how to avoid being taken. 105. The guy. My oid alcoholic buddy Hardy prompted me with some turned down lines that have kept him from losing even a dime on bad loans in his 25 years of rubbing shoulders with con men, just look your man in the eyes and say, I don't have $20. If you're plagued by a chronic borrower yammer ing for loans all the time, Try another of Hardy's favorite plots. And since people don't loan money to their enemies, these unpaid loans had to be between friends. This may look callous on the surface, but it's the only way you can salvage the friendship between yourself and the borrower. Also, he can't use the debt as an unspoken bargaining tool during some unrelated disagreement. If you're Worried about your friendship? Try to imagine how quickly friendship disappears when you start done ning him for the money. Besides, if your friend really needs the money and plans to pay you back, he shouldn't balk too much at this condition. After having read half a chapter describing the pit falls of lending money to friends, you'll probably go ahead and do it anyway at your first opportunity. If your check winds up in someone else's hands, and he succeeds in cashing it, you're out of luck. Chapter 10 Tactic 9 Manipulating a Person's thinking Know whose mind you can Change, and when IT is better To shut up After all, the real key to manipulating people Against their will is knowing whose mind you can Change, and whose you can't Friendship and respect aren't important, they're everything when it comes to ma. Manipulating a person's thinking. For example, not in the mood, migraine, that's all you're interested in, etc. Ad nauseum, on the other hand, 
a Clark Gable script won't get. You the time of day if she doesn't like you. I didn't ex. Tech to make any money that way, but it was easy. As you can imagine, I quit giving sales pitches on manipulating a person's thinking. 115. Cars. I just befriended people, put human nature on my side, and incidentally sold them a car. Needless to say, I decided to sell cars a few more months, and I stored away a pile of money. If you stick by this rule of thumb, the only people you'll ever attempt to manipulate against their will are those people who already like you. If you haven't opened up your manipulative by selling yourself first, your attempts at manipulation will fail 99% of the time. I 16. Just because I say, sell yourself first or make people like you and respect you, don't get the idea that a wave of your hand will accomplish this. Finally, even though you've endeared yourself to your manipulative, you still can't throw caution to the wind. As tempting as it might be, don't burn his ears. Giving him the lowdown on how wrong he is, just because he likes you. While this setup didn't provide me with any romantic sideline, it certainly blessed me with a provocative line of conversation. I realized that nearly all arguments wind up involving both parties, personal eye ties, and that sooner or later one person always in salts the other one. If you can get your just deserts without race, in the women's rights angle, you're better off. Along these lines, the last chapter explained the feudal itty of trying to change the mind of a person who doesn't like you. Since many of the people you deal with won't like you, rule of thumb I should save you from any arguments with these people. It states, let sleeping dogs and tempting arguments lie if they don't affect your vital interests by only disagreeing with people who like you. Rule I, on only the issues that affect your vital in. Dearests, rule 2, you fight just the remaining battles. If your opponent can't make you sulk and brood over a disagreement, then that's the same as a victory for you. Until you try it, you'll never realize how much mental anguish you can sidestep by choosing your disagreements according to these dual rules. But unargue serves up the op. Posit, an ex-adversary, beginning to act like a friend, who's prepared to let you have your way and an F. Win your arguments. 123. Feet admit that he was wrong. Maybe it's just your imagination, but you could. Swear you see sparks flying between the two of you. The client. Harry Rock, a self-made millionaire, owns and pre. Sides over Rock Metal Buildings Incorporated. Before resigning, your predecessor persuaded a well-known ex-Hue official to endorse your clients. Metal buildings in a $3 million TV advertising cam. Pain currently being planned. Alarmed at the prospect of losing a major client. Over this disagreement, your new boss has come as Sanju to go change Mr. Rock's mind without blowing the account. You later hear rumors that your boss has blundered by advancing the ex-government official $10,000 of agency money for the ads, without clearing the move. With Rock, I try to become friends. Chapter 10 Stress That You Make or Break Your 128 Manipulation in this first critical step, so I won't be la Brett here. If you haven't made a friend out of your quarry, you're throwing away your breath, time, and patience to continue on to any other step. He's a self-made millionaire, so tell him how you had to work your way through college at odd jobs. One word of caution, there's no reason for pretense here, because anyone with an IQ even if this strikes you against his will. 129. As buttering a person up, it's a very necessary step. By the time you reach the impasse, 
over the advertisement, he'll see you as a friend who agrees with him on everything except this issue. You'll find out that agreeing with Rock on everything else and only persuading him on one subject is certainly easier than trying to change his view of the universe issue by issue. So when you don't exactly concur over what's to transpire after dinner, she'll be easier to manipulate. 2. Listen, listen, listen. As you listen, you may realize that some of his objections are so shallow that they won't really get in your way. Finally, by listening closely to the manipulatees objections, you let him know you're not ignoring his feelings. He continues, anyway, people will believe my son before they'll believe some flaky government of official ferret. Ing out people's motives is covered in more detail in Chapter 7, How to Pick a Person Apart and Dis Cover his real motives and feelings. After you've heard Rock out at length, you should have picked out one or two major objections you'll 132 have to change his mind on. 3. Before you can swing his logic your way, you have to deal with your manipulatee's feelings. The way you massage your antagonist's ego is to agree with his feelings not his point of view, just his feelings. Now, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people make a stab at the ego massage with the old yes, but anyway, people will believe my son before they'll believe some flaky government official. You massage his ego by gently almost agreeing, I don't blame you for feeling that way, I've felt that way about government people myself. Bear in mind that the against his will. 135. Closer you get to Rock's position without jeopardizing your case, the better. You didn't paint yourself into a corner, but he's now open to your thinking, because you've caressed his ego by agreeing with him. Next take up Mr. Rock's sentimental, well, I'd sure like to see my son on TV. Handling the worst type of objections, personal in insults, hasn't been discussed up to this point. If you give in to the gut drive to re turn insult for insult, you'll make your manipulate mad and blow the whole manipulation. Then chuckle a little as you add, a lot of times advertising people even get high-handed with me. However, if you'll notice, you haven't damaged your case in the least. 4. Point out areas of agreement. You can also find an area of agreement on another point of contention, Mr. Rock, we would both love. 138. To see your son Timmy in the mass media. Private, in response to Stephanie's balking at your plans for a rendezvous in the motel across the street. Draw this area of agreement, we both want you to have what you want, and not do something you wouldn't like. 5. Before you state your case, you should pick out the one or two major objections you have to overcome to get your way. First, take on Mr. Rock's objection. That people will believe my son before they'll believe. Some flaky government official. I know that. Man can sell a lot of metal buildings for you, and make. You a lot of money, you say, leaning hard on the. Money. You know this is abso. Lutely not the truth, but there is a very good psycho. Logical reason for saying it. If it's at all possible to talk Mr. Rock into doing the ad campaign your way, stating your case like this should do it. In effect you've told Mr. Rock, we don't need to do the ad our way. Anytime you state your case, remember to add this I don't need you disclaimer before you stop talking. When you realize that the 9 out of 10 tactic won't fit your set of circumstances, follow this pat turn in stating your case. I, as in step 3, once again agree with the Manipu. Leite's feelings he expressed in his objection to your ideas. To illustrate, consider how 
you'll overcome Stephanie's major objection. First, you agree with her feelings rather than try to convince her that the venture isn't risky. You continue, I wish it wasn't so risky, because I don't want to see you have trouble with your boss any more than you do. Third, you give her a good reason why it's in her best interest to do things your way, then add your I don't need you disclaimer as your knockout blow, but listen, it's all up to you. If you can manipulate a person on this point, you'll be able to extract the top dollar for anything you sell. Add your disclaimer, which puts him on no ties that he's the one who needs you, not the other way around. 6. Obviously you haven't manipulated a person until he agrees to do things your way, and in effect admits he was wrong. Notice that every step of the way you've taken pains to calm his ego, so it won't be an zero obstacle. So now one can give in on something else, and one still won't look bad. You've even made the lines on your boss's face crinkle into a smile by retrieving his $10,000, which seemed certain to go down the drain. As it now stands, she insists, no way in hell I'm gonna check into that motel, the one across the street, and take a chance on my boss seeing me. Clearly your compromise should be sincere. Boss might see you go into the motel across the street, let's don't take a chance. Whether she gives in or not, since you're the self-proclaimed manipulator extraordinaire, surely you've noted something false in Stephanie's major objection. But Stephanie hasn't mentioned this objection, so you shouldn't deal with it openly and directly. But you know that by dealing smoothly with this token objection, you can indirectly overcome Stephanie's real misgivings. Try to become friends. 2. Listen, listen, listen. 3. 4. Point out areas of agreement. 5. 6. Also, as you hear out people's objections to your ideas, they often realize that they can't justify their position at all. Many times when a person doesn't give in to you, he's stuck in a yes-no state. When you've conjured up this yes-no state in a person, you know your unargue has done its job. 150. Often a person's mind may be too fixed to change, or factors beyond your control may defeat your best efforts. But by using unargue on the nuts you can crack, you'll get your way so often that it will make you Smug and cocky if you don't watch yourself. What's even worse, professors simply give you an F. When they fail to persuade you to their way of think. Ink. Unlike the methods of writers and professors, un. Argue doesn't have to be interesting, philosophically. Sound, or moral. Otherwise the manip. Against his will. A later won't make a living, and he'll starve. That's what I believe this chapter gives you, a tool that isn't always glamorous, but it is practical, and it is always dependable. And if you can forge the self-control to follow the steps of unargue, it will get what you want out of the majority of people you decide to take on. She's thinking, I know I shouldn't, but I'd sure like to. He is really a sharp guy, but I just don't know. In this confused state even. 153. 154. The toughest person can be controlled like a puppet. With the right nudging. If she doesn't. Voice an objection, you've manipulated her by a sum. Ing a yes response. Besides, she. Didn't object when you got up to make the phone. Call. Obviously, when you use this silence tactic in your love life, you may want to skip stating your case. Because it would sound stilted most of the time. If your manipulatee doesn't give you a definite no after a minute or two of silent pressure, assume a yes and take it from there. Any time the other party acts indecisive in the face of 
your silent pressure, you know he's in a yes-no state. If your quarry shows these two conditions, then you can be sure that your burst of pressure won't make him mad. I, as you talk to him, you should get the feeling that your unargue is overcoming his objections. When you see these two conditions in a person, you know he's already leaning your way. Now that I've told you how to time your surge of pressure, let me warn that it's not that easy for a novice to do it right. So the first few times you try it, you'll probably apply the pressure too quickly and scare your manipulative off. 2. 3. When you assume a yes response, even the meanest businessman will do what you tell him to if he's in the undecided state of mind. If the other person is trying to bluff you, he'll. A little pressure has its place. 159. Usually admit it when your pressure calls his hand. If. He's pretending that you're asking too much money. When you know this isn't the case, a show of force. Should draw out his real feelings. To use it, you ask a person, who knows he's. Being watched by others, a question he can't answer with no. I never liked being conned out of my money, so you can imagine that I enjoyed that scheming minstrel's song. Very little. Chapter 14. Tactic 13. If all else fails, try the dirty way. I always assume that if one person tried to persuade another to do things his way and failed, the game was up. However, after you've failed through the normal channels of persuasion, there's still one possibility. You probably haven't tried, manipulate the person. The indirect way. The man looked at the only such bedroom sweet Hardy had in the store, and said he didn't particularly like it. The woman indicated that she liked the furniture fairly well, so Hardy went to work buttering her up by selling her on the bedroom suite. Her man friend still didn't want the bedroom suite, but he asked what kind of discount price he could get by buying all six pieces together. When you find yourself getting nowhere with some body through normal channels, you can sometimes change his mind through a person who exercises a lot of influence with him. You can often enlist as an ally. Your manipulative's best friend lover, boss, or wife. While he may suspect your motives in Burr. 164. Swatting him, he's unlikely to question the motives of a friend he trusts. Using the dirty way in your love life. If you're attempting to charm someone and failing at it, it's high time you backed off and played a little hard to get. While you're cooling things on the direct front, you might try to get to your heartthrob indirectly by charming one of her friends. When the woman you're after starts to hear her female friends admiring you, she may decide that her first impression was wrong, and that taking a second look at you is in order. So if you have women saying that you're fantastic, if all else fails, the woman you couldn't get anywhere with may take a second look. By putting the relationship with the woman you want on the back burner and charming her friends for a while, you may very well wind up with the woman you wanted, plus her friends. If you're a woman, you'll be happy to know that men are just as vulnerable to this indirect manipulation. And ever since I discovered how to stop ingratitude before it gets started, my 167. 168. Life's been easier. What helping people gets you? From our birth, society teaches us that by always being good to someone and making sacrifices for him, we make a friend who'll give us good things in re turn. Since he didn't have any money, I lent him his first capital and let him run his fledgling business from my apartment. And likewise, the smaller the debt a person owes you, the 
smaller the amount of ingratitude you'll get from him. And every time he sees you, he's reminded of what he owes, which only makes it loom larger and larger. If you're going to avoid thankless behavior Al, together, don't do a person any big favors. When you try to reduce the ingratitude you get, bear in mind this rule of thumb, nearly everyone is pleased to acknowledge a small debt. La Rochefoucauld French philosopher How intermittent reinforcement improves the formula After reading my formula for limiting ingratitude, I'm sure you realize that this method is only half of an answer. For example, if you plan to lend your always broke woman friend $5 for food until payday, she lonely owe you a tiny debt. Knowing this, there's no reason to try to combat her ingratitude, since she can't work up much resentment over owing you a fin. But if you plan to buy your neighbor do well a dollar I 500, 172 used car because she's your number one love, and she must get to work somehow, you're now playing with fire. For instance, your potentially ungrateful playboy son off at college can't take your financial support for granted if you withdraw his reinforcement from time to time. Human nature being what it is, in the foo tour he'll be more grateful if you pay for most of his education than he would if you paid for all of it. Likewise, before you buy your woman friend that $1,500 car, insist that she come up with at least $500 of the total, even if she has to take out a loan or how to squelch in gratitude. 173. Sell her stereo. She'll appreciate how much you worked for the $1,000 you gave her every time she makes a payment on her $500 loan, or looks at the empty place where her stereo once sat. By withdraw. Being a part of your reinforcement, she won't take you for granted, and you've probably clenched her gratty tude for months to come. She doesn't owe you any debt, so there's no dread of repayment that might kindle resentment in her. When I say, withdraw your reinforcement ahead of time on loans, I mean that you should get collet ear all before you lend the money. If you're interested, I've already Detailed the reasons for my attitude on this subject in Chapter 9, How to Avoid Being Taken in Finn Shall Dealings They May feel that a person can generalize from the con Artists and other manipulators I lived among, since Con artists aren't normal people Due to this fact, they Showed me more ingratitude in one year than many People see in a lifetime Look around you, and you'll see how to squelch in gratitude. Women who sacrifice to put their husbands through medical school, only to be abandoned as soon as hubby becomes an MD. Parents are constantly rebuked by their children after mom and dad sacrifice to put them through college. After all, learning to combat ungrateful behavior before it starts helps you dodge one of life's most numbing pitfalls. Mark Twain. Chapter 16. What you get out of using people for your own selfish ends. As I see IT, you can use the knowledge this book gives in three ways. I, to keep other people from manipulating you. Two, to manipulate what you want out of people in a reasonably fair and unselfish manner, or 3. To manipulate other people ruthlessly, show in little regard for their feelings or best in tierests in short, using individuals for what you can get out of them. However, I'm enough of a realist to know that many of my readers plan to follow the third course of AC Shin to misuse the manipulative tactics. They're powerful enough to give you an awesome control over other people which you can use any way you want. I know this runs contrary to what a lot of people think, 
so I'll explain why I say this. Of all the ruthless manipulators I got to know, from Hardy, to the man who kicked me out of my apartment, to the California man not one has a real friend in the world. Selectively using people. When you look at these can artists' unhappy lives, you may say to yourself, but I'll be smarter. I'll use some people, but I'll be good to the friends I want to keep around. For example, I've heard them say, I'll never cheat a friend, and, I'm good to people who are good to bt middle.td. Me, you Jews. On T ever cross me. Similarly, trying to treat just one person selfishly. And then quit is like the eagle trying to snatch the fish. And fly away. As a result, you make yourself. Miserable by becoming a self-made victim of this. Country's number one affliction, loneliness.